Alcohol and drug counselor John Baltzer got into this field of work because he saw the deadly effects alcoholism had on his family. Of the 7,500 students at Millersville, he mostly sees those who break the rules, but he doesn't scold them when they walk into his office. A kid is talking about nothing but I'm going to party my hiney off while I'm here at Millersville to say, you know, we know that affects GPA and just leave it at that. New rules put into place this year will require students to pay a fine if they're caught drinking underage. It's one of those things we bump into and go, oh, I don't know that I want to do that again. It's also the job of orientation leaders. Freshmen are being guided around campus this week. Baltzer says they're supposed to sway students down a positive path. We understand that college students will be college students. We can't stop that, but if we can get them to make smart choices and the wise choices, that'll help a lot. Baltzer says 25% of freshmen at Millersville have never had a sip of alcohol, and he wants to keep it that way. Millersville is not a huge party school. Irregardless of the school, everybody doesn't party. But people come here with that mindset, and it really sets us up uh, to, to end up being in a lot more trouble than is necessary. A study done by Penn State shows the sooner students are told the negative effects of binge drinking, the less likely they'll be to engage in that behavior. Evan?